Women's Day for me is all about celebrating the achievements of women. And in my opinion, Women's Day would be literally every single day. And I think it's very important for us to be able to amplify women uh, wherever we go. So be it if you are a family member, if you're a man or a woman, it's important for you to be able to help us close that gender gap. Being a woman is absolutely phenomenal. If you put something in a woman's hands, if you want change, um, the best place to put it is in the hands of a woman. And honestly, we have earned our LP and should be celebrated for it. When I think about my education as a child, I think I had the best of both worlds. I had both the African education and culture, and I also had the Western education. When I look at Africans now, and I see my people being able to explore themselves, I see families equally supporting their children. This really, really warms my heart because I am able to see Africa on a global scale. It just makes me think about how much we have to offer and I really, really, truly can't wait for the world to see the best of Africa. When an African girl has been given the same opportunity, it means that she can run with it. It means that she can do great things. When I think about education in Africa, I think that it is extremely important that we continue to push this force, you know, knowledge, as they say, is power, and everything starts with a thought. It starts with the ability to be able to critically think and problem solve and process situations. I'm looking forward to a future in Africa where education is no longer a struggle. It's no longer something that we have to advocate for, but it becomes free, it becomes easily accessible, and it becomes something that we can really, really appreciate um, as Africans. The first tip I will give to a young Zainab or a young person and hoping to chase their dreams will be to most definitely enjoy the moment. So it's very important for you to just really appreciate and be grateful for all your successes. It's, it's great to be an overachiever, it's great to be someone who has all these big aspirations, but what I believe is probably more important is somebody who has an attitude of gratitude. The next tip I will give, I would say it's important for you to write down your dreams because when you take something out of your head and you put it on paper, there's something about that that makes it real. There's something about that that says, you know, that tells the universe and tells everyone and everything around you that, hey, this person is ready. So it's always good to visualize where you wanna be, what you wanna do, and to put it on paper and make it happen. The third tip that I think that I can offer to a young Zainab or a young creative chasing their dreams is to not take no for an answer. On this journey, you're gonna meet so many people who will tell you that you're not good enough, it's not your time, you're not the right person or the right fit. But if you really believe that this is your passion, this is what you were built and born to do, then it's important that you grow that thick skin to people who tell you no. It's important that you hear what they say, but you don't let it sit in your heart. Some people will say no, but you will get to a point where somebody says yes. So keep pushing.